Chariot tells the story of this princess that's really, really strong-willed, fun, happy, and she has a very faithful, very nice boyfriend that's just tagging along because he's spending such a nice afternoon with his girlfriend. Basically, she has a quest to do before going on with her life. It's that she needs to uh, bring her dead father's coffin to its final resting place. What is this place? Some sort of pit stop. Oh, no. The thing is, um, the king is coming back as a ghost and he keeps complaining. He wants to be buried in a place where there's lots of treasure. He needs something kingly. And so they, they go underground with this chariot to try to find the fabled uh, family sepulchre. I was really looking to find a light-hearted co-op game, but I couldn't find anything that suited us at that time. That's when I thought of a game that really was something different about uh, cooperation. Usually in co-op games, you're taking care of yourself, and the other is taking care of himself. What chariot is doing different is that you don't take care of yourself, you take care of the ch chariot itself. And yes. he brought it to me and said, hey, Martin, we should do this game. And I'm like, yes, it's awesome. <laughs> he gave me one week to prototype it. That was insane. Anyway, the prototype was awesome. Uh, everybody played it and had a lot of fun. It was just stick figures that he drew. And uh, people who were yelling like, oh, I want to play, I want to play. And then people were laughing. Like, well, yeah, we were kind of disturbing all the teams around. People laugh a lot because the mechanics themselves tend uh, to have people uh, laugh because they're yelling at each other. They're, they're saying, hey, let's go that way, let's go over. When I first saw Chariot, I really, really felt it had to have a, a unique look because of how unique the game moves. Visually, it's unique when it moves. The, the way you interact with the Chariot and the way the players attach their ropes and flow through the environments with this object creates unique motion that you won't see in other games. One of the interesting things about Ch Chariot is it's, it's actually a very quiet game. It's very atmospheric and it's very immersive. So the, vi the environments need to support that. So we wanted to make sure that we had a lot of variety, a lot of color, a lot of mood and atmosphere, but not something that is stressful, something that basically adds to the experience and helps draw the player into the game. And then uh, music pops in just just completing this immersive feeling we wanted to, to, to give to the player. Yeah, I remember when you, we first talked about music and uh, you were saying you didn't want to have back-to-back -back music all the time. Yeah. You wanted to have, you know, these quiet exploration moment and then melodies that would come out, you know. Patrick Baltrop uh, was uh, really in on that idea and yeah. I think he executed it uh, flawlessly and oh boy, did we make uh, the good decision of, uh, of asking <laughs> Patrick to work with us because it's, it's really, really impressive. <laughs> Obviously, we wanted to have uh, a lot of content in Chariot. There's 25 different levels uh, with different entrances and exits. So uh, most of the time when people will be uh, playing through one level of Chariot, they will not see everything in the level. They'll have to go back later on. They'll see, oh, I remember saying there was a path over there. Uh, let's replay that level and go, you know, get the loot or collectibles that were hidden somewhere else. crown jewel of Chariot is the fact that you have this thing that's a big platform on wheels ruled by physics lets you do all sorts of crazy things and that's really what's the, 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 
the thing that uh, has that allows chair to get those moments where everyone is on the edge of their seat, even those who aren't playing, just to see like someone make that little swing and just narrowly land that big jump and oh, and have the Indiana, Indiana Jones moment of someone like leaping after his buddy and grabbing the road at the last seconds and being saved from a bottomless pit. And, The game can be very hard at some point. Uh, there, there's, you know, there's exploration. There's main path that you can play solo or with a friend, and uh, there's a lot of checkpoints. So if you fall into lava and you die, you know, you won't respawn like 15 minutes earlier. You can, you can retry a lot. It's amazing how much things you can do with the rope, the chariot, and also uh, with the, the item that the, the, the user can, can equip. So we wanted to really reward the players that, that will master the game. So I think they, they, they're gonna have really a lot of fun trying to unlock all the achievements in chariot because we have some, some special ones. Chariot is so much fun to watch. Uh, to watch on the screen. You, even if you're not playing, you, you're gonna watch your buddies try some hard puzzle and you're gonna enjoy it and you're gonna smile yeah. and you're, you're gonna cheer. The couch co-op doesn't have to be with two players of equal skill. You can have a really advanced player and a beginner player and they'll be able to play together without a problem. They can really discover a whole lot and start learning, uh, learning how to work together and how to have fun in giant minds full of things that want to steal your loot. It can work super well on a couch because there's probably some negotiation that has to go on and some, some real time back and forth on, okay, we're going to do this move and uh, you plant yourself over there and I'm going to use this bomb. And, and you can also observe the chemistry that is developing between the two players when they, from the moment they start together, at, to the point where they, 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 they need to face a challenging puzzle and you see how much their, their gameplay evolves. That's, that's amazing to see. The development process on Chariot was one of the most beautiful experiences uh, since my entry in the uh, industry. There was so much talented people working on this project. This is a big game, and we did it with a small team in a small amount of time. And the, the quality we're able to execute everything at is actually uh, uh, extremely high. It shows in the game that you know every artist, every animator, every programmer, every guy from the team of the engine, the game designers, the art director, everybody just put everything they had to make this game that they love uh, what it is right now. pretty soon uh, on uh, PS4, Xbox One, Wii U and Steam and uh, we really, yeah. really are looking forward to play with our friends but also to see the reaction of, uh, of everyone. Uh, we've, uh, we've put a lot of, of love uh, and, and work into this game and uh, I hope that you guys like it.